lay it on the ground and use it as an alignment tool. So I'm going to hit a couple of 7 irons for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to aim straight out here. I'm going to put this saber on the ground. Let's see, grab my 7 iron. And then I'm going to rake a ball over. And right here on the saber, it says ball. <coughs> That's where you put the ball. <laughs> so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your left foot and you're going to put your left foot right out here where the grip is. Now if I was going to do a 7 iron chip, the saber says chip right here. So this is a little chip shot. Right? If I was going to hit a full swing iron, what you'll find is this is a little different. This is what Ben Hogan taught is move your right foot back, leave your left foot where it is. So now a full swing iron is right here. I have to scoop back a little bit. Basically what you're doing is you're positioning the ball off the pivot of that left hip. So when you saw me take the saber and pull it back and snap it through, when it's back here, if you watch my left hip simultaneous to the snap of the ball, that hip pivots out of the way right when the energy snaps into the ball. Right? So that's why ball position is important. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take my setup, put my left foot up here by the grip, right foot back here by the iron, aim straighter. I'm going to go right out here toward that tower at the airport. All right, take my setup, pull it back. All right now, from here, if I want to, I can create that same snap. All right? dead straight, nice and high and far, because I understand that technique. Obviously, most golfers aren't going to stop. I think Hideki Matsuyama might be the only one that has a distinct pause, but really what that allows you to do is build up the energy and then release it. So I'll just hit a couple of shots for you, just normal so you can see what they look like. All right, another one high and straight. It's kind of going up into the clouds. So it's a little bit hard to see. I'll also hit a, some drivers for you as well. It'll go a little bit lower. Ball position off the left hip. All right, so that's three in a row, pretty much dead straight. Now, I'm able to achieve that by moving athletically and releasing the club. Nobody hits the ball straight consistently while guiding it through impact, right? So that's why I created the saber because the saber itself allows you to move athletically and release the, the weight of the tool without being like brain locked into the club face. If you're brain locked into the club face, at some point through impact, you're gonna manipulate it and guide it.